there's a character who exists who was created in the 60s in 66 so i can make it right there's a character who exists created in 66 marvel studios came along and nixed this character is blessed this character is the king this character should be still ruling but instead what they did is they said no you're not going to take him take his sister and just go and then here's a movie that they put out and you know how much it grossed 500 million less than the first one for goat and instead of listening and instead of feedback they decided to look at me and say hey we don't need that stop making videos don't use the hashtag anymore I said, actually, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it more. And then I came over here, not to settle a score, but to make it known in public that we're not taking it no more. That's the T'Child. is not T'Challa. He's the T'Child. He's TJ. He's Toussaint. He's not for me. He could be for you, but go that way. Because over here in this room where I sit and I record with the stars all behind and the mic, I'm never bored to come true and come to you live at nine on a thursday or on, on your worst day you will never beat mine i come oof, uh, let me just read these comments i could go longer but let me read these comments recasting black panther for the mcu's post avengers 6 reboot Derek luke if he worked for marvel on the first avenger could he still play t'challa michael jai white really old omari hardwick if you ask me this skin tone is too light t'challa is someone of african descendancy they're right next to the equator there's a level of darkness your skin needs to be. John Boyega is a perfectly formidable pick. I'm sure he can just do the voice, the same one he used in Woman King, the same one that his dad had. His dad has, I shouldn't say had. Right, KDOT? Laz Alonzo. He was in Avatar? He was in Fast and Furious? Nope. Yeah, the, the fourth one. He was the one that Vin Diesel killed. Oh, he does the voice for My Dad, a Bounty Hunter into light i mean his his picture right now was in the dark i don't know him like that but if it's the same reason as omari hardwick then yeah adewale akinu agbaji uh, way too, old. too old way too old this picture is from 2004 yeah that's from like his early 2000s movies it's from lost it's from lost is mr echo right here and he's too old now he can do a lot of things. Was, not younger, I would have de I would have definitely said yes to that. I mean, I think he would have did a better accent than Chadwick Boseman. Old Green Eyes, Michael Eli. Oh, I think that's what this the, yo the guy who doing the article. He's putting them in the dark. I know him. I know Michael Eli. I, so I know what how light his skin tone is. But dude, the pictures he selected for this were all in the dark, so we would never realize like this is a terrible choice. Not familiar with a lot of his stuff. He. Has the theatricality, theatricality. Yo, some people just open up a dictionary and just go, we're going to use that word today. You got to be eye catching for like the women and stuff. Even dudes, if you swing that way, like you got to be eye catching. It got to be to the point where like even a man that doesn't swing that way goes like, dang, that's a handsome dude. I'm not saying he's not handsome. He's probably a good actor. I'm, I'm not saying he's not, but you know. I don't think he's T'Challa material. I don't think that. No. Neither does Anthony. Neither does Caliber. Not tall enough. That's important too. The height also. Two bad three. Raptor Kluka likes it though. He is about that age where you, you know, you still have the physique, the ability to get bigger. The testosterone is still testosteroning. He could be a strong choice. He's got range. I don't see any. He's tall too. If he can just bulk up. And he can do a voice. I could see him as a T'Challa. He's a definite yes. I can see it. He needs a bulk, as you say, though. Yeah, he can't look like this. He's got the right everything. He's he's my T'Challa. Is he handsome? Does he pass that test? Yeah, he's handsome. He passes it. Yeah, you, yeah, he passes the test. Yeah. Well, older, older, older Lakeith, younger Lakeith looked, you know, too much baby face. But well, it depends. He 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 need to have the beard, a beard and mustache. He needs a little stubble on him. In this, he's literally a Black Panther. Get it? <laughs> oh, what about the guy who played Kang? Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> hey, it's only funny when I make those jokes. Yeah, the title is To Child Neglect. Because child neglect is wrong. Facts. To child neglect is necessary. Is even worse. No, 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 hold on. To child neglect is necessary. You need to not consider this guy T'Challa. 
Oh yeah, yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about how uh, T'Challa hit, hit, hit his, you know, kid from the world. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. Yolanda Noel has expressed interest in portraying T'Challa. I can see him as T'Challa. Got the, got the perfect skin tone. He got the build. He got the look. I can see it. But how good is that accent going to be? That's also a thing. People have been saying you've been great as T'Challa. You down? Ha ha ha. In a blink of an eye. But it's up to the gods. This is the same guy, right? Yeah, yeah, that's him. Okay. Yolanda um, Noel. Yep. I, I'll take it. When it goes on Screen Rant and when some of these other articles with their audiences are listening, it's, I mean, I would I like if it wasn't, when they reboot, they'll recast. I like if they just said recast, but still, that's, that's movements forward. Honestly, I felt kind of taken back by it because I really wasn't expecting it. That's one. I thought that we were moving on with Sherry and just letting T'Challa rest in peace till any multiverse situation happens. Um, and then we're gonna see this child, this new T'Challa, Tassant. When we see him, uh, we don't know, you know, how he's gonna grow up or or how they're gonna age him up. So is what you said. They silenced the the moving forward of me for T'Challa. How did you feel about Shuri then? Do, would you rather have Shuri over a child? Because I, I'll answer the question first. Yeah. At least Shuri is a real character. She's actually part of the Black Panther mythos. So if they were to elevate her character and make her more famous, at least it's not resources going to a non-character who doesn't even exist and will never exist again. The T'Child, Lil Toussaint, that's a waste of resources. But my question to you, when she became a Black Panther and kind of like took the role, did you foresee... A sequel for her? Did you see her also as an equal on the Avengers crossovers? I saw her as the interim, uh, just Queen Regent at the time. Um, I don't see her permanently staying, but for what they crafted for the movie and the situation for Chadwick's death, um, that's all I see. I see her as a substitute. Uh, I don't see her being around permanently. That's one of the best things about T'Challa. So many acting brothers could do Chadwick proud in the role that it'd take forever to pick just one wow. look at the first person to ever play the supergirl character her name is helen mm -hmm. slater yep. did she like chadwick boseman is not alive to have an instagram where the next t'challa gets played and he can post this but she on the on the on the photo it says here supergirl right in the center with all of the names of the actresses from smallville from the tv show the flash movie passing the cape honoring 40 years of the woman of tomorrow why do we pretend we're honoring Chadwick when the people who are alive today, time after time, whether it's Margot Robbie, who I showed you Margot Robbie last week, I told you the quote she had about how Harley Quinn is a character that I'm happy gets to be the next one, except this one's a woman. I said substitute the word woman for black hero. Let's do this for here. I'm passing the cape honoring 40 years of the king of Wakanda. Imagine if that without imagine just change the words. And you know who actually commented on it? Unlike Kevin Feige, here comes James Gunn. High hey, five. Shout He's hey, got shout the shouts out to Helen Slater for uh you know being a people may not like her movie, but being since she is the original one in this role, she first wanted to do Supergirl in live action. She, you know, is showing some respect to the ones that came after and saying, you know, this is our legacy. We're going to continue it, and we're going to keep it going strong. Absolutely. Tony, I like this one. He says, passing the claws. <laughs> yeah, he's passing the claws. The T'Child is definitely seeing Killmonger in the ancestral plane. <laughs> <laughs> you mad too, little boy? Yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad, cousin. <laughs> I'm mad, big cousin. What you mad for? My daddy neglected me. He left me alone. He left me alone. He died and left me behind. And then Killmonger is going to tell him in the ancestral plane, you need to burn it all down, uh, little cousin. You need to burn it all down. You're right. I need to burn it all down. They're going to repeat the same stuff over and over again. And I guarantee y'all this. I guarantee you this. When mm -hmm. they have to pass on the mantle to, to child, Shuri is going to get <clears throat> mm. to push to child 
and motivate him. Just like how, you know, his dad had to die, Zuri, and many other people in his life had to die to push T'Challa. And same thing with Shuri. You know, Queen Ramonda had to die. T'Challa had to die. Oh, man. Who wants to make the bet right now? I'll make the bet with anybody in the comments. Let's go. $10 right now that Shuri will be killed. Um, Who else? Who else? Probably possibly Okoye. Okoye is probably going to be a big figure in her life. You know, her contract will be up and they won't have to renew it. Yeah, she'll be killed. They're going to take out somebody just to motivate him. And it's going to be the same shit. Wash, wash wins, repeat. Michael B. Jordan finna come collect this check in. Like, hey, I'm back for my 40 seconds. What's up? I was 10 year old boy when my mother took me to the movies to see you. To me, you will always be Supergirl. Greetings mm. from Spain. That is a nice word. That, those are kind. But it's also not keeping this the character from you know progressing, right? Because they will still have the character be more popular to other people. He did, like you will always be my T'Challa to Chadwick. Fine, guys, say that. You're right. You'll always be my T'Challa, so long as you're not hindering the growth of this legendary character. I like that. Mm-hmm. I, I I I can read that, and I cannot see it the evil way of now. It's restricting. I love Helen Slater. Passes the torch each time. Much respect to the first over Supergirl. So why wouldn't we expect Chadwick Boseman also from this guy? I'm Nick Knock. <laughs> why does it? Wouldn't I'm Nick Knock say the same thing about Chadwick passing the torch? We got this one saying Melissa is his, his favorite. Respect. You are my favorite Supergirl. Respect. Who's our favorite T'Challa? Well, there's only one to choose from. <laughs> I admire your kindness in your post, Helen. Wonderful news about my fellow Ozzy. Millie Alcock. Can you imagine if the actor who plays T'Challa is from Cameroon? Man, wonderful news for my fellow Cameroonian. Like, they would say that. I love to see this. Shout out to Sarah. Sarah O'Connell would love to see another person play this legendary superhero and forward the character with much more resources, with Hollywood being much more wider. That's what Mm. I'm talking about. Nothing but love for Millie, but Sasha Kaye deserves so much more. Man, we mm-hmm. could have those same conversation about T'Challa. I like that one, but the other one from all the, that one deserved much more. Mm. Right? Why? He's already in the MCU. I know, and I give a whole explanation is that, uh, you know, we take him from uh, the Valhalla, we put him from Valhalla, and we put his body in a variant. If you were to try to find someone that kind of wanted to look similar to child Bozen features to an extent, like similar build, and you know, has a chance to bulk up and possibly get even bigger. Dempsey Ninjas is probably the best choice for that. But he is a good actor on his own right. But if you want to get someone with features kind of close enough to Chadwick to an extent. I just feel like he's a very good, capable actor. Uh, his work in the Watchmen film or the TV series. Um, I enjoyed what he did as Black Manta. I think he wasn't um allowed to you know chew up the scenes but what he did showed just his acting range and if he's allowed to further his craft i I feel like he would be a great suitable um to tell every single week we're hearing about new guys who could potentially do it it's really not locked down to an actor never was and there's no run one right actor anybody could do it right given the opportunity if you're dark enough and if you can do the voice and you're tall enough and hair texture is the right hair texture that's it. That Those are the qualifications. I think what I'm reminded of more and more, especially being on this carpet, is I think the importance of allyship and the importance of coming together and celebrating not only our own cultures, but also each other's and each other's battles and fights. And um, I, I couldn't be more grateful to be here. Um, and I know that, you know, I know that, you know, I very much follow in, in Chadwick's footsteps. So I'm, I'm very mm. grateful for that you made that comparison and I'm, I'm hoping that I can live up to it. Huh? If he thinks he pushed a needle, like the the needle for a Chinese or Asian representation, mm-hmm. the representation in Hollywood, I like Shang Chi, but that movie had no effect like that. It, <laughs> it, I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but it ain't had it didn't have that Black Panther effect. When I say that, I mean bringing out old black grandmas that you would never ever 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 catch in a movie theater ever dressed up in you know daishikis and stuff and all mm-hmm. that like and i'm not saying they got to show up in a in a in their cultural clothing that's heavily rooted in their culture i mean bringing out the the the, the usuals like the old chinese ladies that never ever ever 
go to the movie theaters. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. Yeah, and we got a shout out to uh, Jet Li with Jet Li bringing DMX and Aaliyah together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there, there was boundaries already crossed uh, of like recognition. And the one thing I remember uh, Jet Li and Jackie Chan movie, uh, The Forbidden Kingdom or yeah, The Hidden that, Kingdom. The, that movie, know. that movie sold out at a theater that was around the corner from my house. Because Matt, like everybody was so excited to see these two Kung Fu legends together and Shang-Chi didn't really have that effect. I love that movie. I really love Shang-Chi and I didn't have any uh, comic book awareness of the character. So the movie brought awareness to me, but yeah. the movie was not as impactful as this man tries to, you know, promote it as. But it's still a good movie, though. Yeah, I think his really points, good. regardless, on allyship and support are worthwhile yes William says my friend brought popeyes to the theater to see black panther he set us back a bit <laughs> he didn't have the great soda no great soda <laughs> look let me finish the point out before we get we get sidetracked it's important to be an ally yes it's that time of the show friends let's hear from the ally of the week Hey, Disney, do me a favor. Recast the T'Challa while they're still in MCU to actually recast them in, in the goddamn first place. How about that? Thinking about my baby, it don't Before matter. White if man. You're black or white. Before from hey. a white man during Black History Month. I love it. Doesn't Me. matter if you're black or white, recast T'Challa. It doesn't matter if you're happy or <laughs> jaded, recast T'Challa. It doesn't matter if you're dyslexic, T cast Richala. Hey, Jay, Jay did his speaking facts, though, because I'm looking at it, chill. The only MCU movies coming up that's going to really make money is going to be Deadpool 3, King Dynasty, mm -hmm. and Secret Wars, and that's it. Name a movie scene that's extremely hard to watch. What movie is this? I don't know, but the point of this is Marvel, Marvel used, used this man's real-life death to make money off of your emotions and wanted to call it a tribute. Let's go down to the replies. What, what, what replies they got? There's None? no reply to this one. Not yet. Let me repost, repost that. Yeah, repost that. I remember the first time I saw Chadwick Boseman's face in the trailer. I was on Ashley's live stream. We were watching the, the uh, comic. Trailer. And we were all there on The Widow. And so taken aback that they went to the length to advertise a funeral. I get that's Ryan Coogler's close friend, but it's like, dude, why you got a profit off? And it, it, you made it even worse by literally... Having T'Challa, this is where you take the the the, the fantasy out of it and the and the fictional aspect. You took Chadwick Boseman's death, well, how he how he handled it in isolation, not not a totality, but isolation for the what the movie is. I I love the movie. I love Wakanda Forever. Go ahead. Really, I said, oh my goodness, he took me out. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm back, and I'm gonna still stand on business on what I said. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I, I just felt like for us not knowing about Chadwick's death or his sickness, um, and you know, people were speculating when his images came out, um, and then when we found out when he passed, I, I had people, you know, hitting me up like, "Is it true? Did it happen?" Like, I'm not. You know, I'm just a movie fan or whatever. And it was all of a sudden. And I thought that that was very mm, emotional. I thought it was very emotional to include it into the movie. Um, Yeah, definitely just for I isolation. But as I said, for totality, for the character and representation, no, they shouldn't have killed them off. But I understood the grieving that they incorporated inside the movie and the film itself. So, yeah, I didn't have no problem with it. I actually enjoyed it for the sake like, of the story. Yeah, I, I like that you could separate. And I've heard Zod also review the movie. And he told me why it was so important to him or, or moving to him and stuff. I still just go, the greatest black hero that's ever happened, who's black. And he's great. And he's the most positive thing that happens with that skin tone that, that was pulled. And there's, like, no consolation. Or there's no, like, other thing you can give me because this powerful image was just pulled and I, I'll, I'll so i'll never see past it i watched the movie on my computer 
rather than pay a movie ticket because they didn't want to fund it. I had got no merchandise of it. Uh, there was mm-hmm. no replete tickets like I had for the first. Let me ask you then. The first movie, how many times did you see it compared to the second uh, movie? Oh, yeah. I've seen the first one. Well, in the theater, in the theater, dang, man, I've seen the first one so many times. But yeah, definitely the first time I've seen it like five times in the theater. Um, my first experience was an international experience. Uh, so many people was in the theater and it was a late showing. Um, that one was crazy. And um, yeah, Where after the fact, uh, I'm in Houston. I'm in Houston. Oh, it's like an yeah, international city. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, man, there were so many. Man, that's why that's why I was taken back by Shang Chi's uh statement because there were so many different people at the theater when I went to go see that movie. And then also um the second the second film, I've only seen that maybe three times so far of Wakanda Forever. Once in the cinema and the other two on your home computer or TV. Yep. Yeah, so with me, uh, my, my my daughter enjoyed. It. Yeah, my daughter enjoyed it. So I know I watched it one other time with her. It's here, Team Aaron, Free Palestine, ATL blurred. We all know Mark, and he says that to this tweet down here. Black Panther three is reportedly in development at Marvel Studios. Letitia Wright will star in the film as Black Panther. The Midnight Angel series will tie into this film. Also, the United States and others will try to use Wakanda for their resources and vibranium, which will lead into a war with america there was recently rumors marvel wanted dr doom in the mcu relatively soon if not in the fantastic four he will definitely appear in black panther 3 in the comics shuri also faced doom when she became the black panther in doom wars yeah she wasn't alone (laughs) look at the cover we are currently in the mcu dark reign era and what do mark have to say no t'challa no ticket (laughs) Recast T'Challa, Fire Nate Moore. Is he the only one using that hashtag? If I go to Fire Nate Moore, there he is again, ATL Blurred, that's him. Recast T'Challa, Fire Nate Moore. Oh, no, he's not the only one. Sorry, salute, salute. Hey, as far as this Black Panther 3 rumors, what they'll do, if it doesn't have him, why should I care about this franchise and fund it? I'm very worried about where my money would go. Would it be saying, mm-hmm. yes, okay, dilute this franchise without the primary lead? Have a less impactful progression. Here you guys go. Here's my money. Or I can keep being loud and say recast and do these weekly streams. Hopefully highlight more of Screen Rant and and make it so that another publisher, like, I don't know, let's say Deadline. Maybe make Deadline get involved and say, oh, people click on these. They got a lot of retweets. I'm going to make a video of my own about recast or or an article on my own on recast. I want it to be such a popular opinion. I'm going to keep doing that. Whose house? Blue's house. What up? What up? What up? <laughs> Hi. This is Blue. We were just talking about a bunch of tweets. We were talking about some Instagram posts. And now we're at the portion of the show where we just say recast T'Challa. I want to ask you what I ask RJ. How many times did you see the first movie? Four, I want to say. How many Two. times did you see Wakanda whatever? Once. You see? Do you know <laughs> how much more money they could have made with a T'Challa? We put a lot of faith in Kevin Feige, but Kevin Feige sat up there and said, "I right, black people, y'all got it. And as an executive, I've never seen an executive say, "I right, black people, y'all got it. Especially when it came to the bottom line. Can can somebody help me with that? Have you seen that too? Have you ever seen the top guy say, "I right, black people, y'all got it. It's, th- does that work? Mark Cuban, maybe, is the only guy I can think about? If he knows that... The Mavericks made a billion dollars this year doing this thing, and then something broke but could be replaced. But because that that team was sentimental about the thing that broke, <laughs> he said, nah, y'all could be sentimental. Don't worry about it. Y'all got it. Instead of saying, no, nah, we need to replace that thing because that thing made us a billion dollars. I've never seen that. Yeah. Now let me ask you: Do you think if Chadwick was still alive if for the second movie, do you think it would have been a two billion dollar film? Two billion? No. Two billion. Now. I don't think it would have replicated the same success, but it would. I do think it would have been a billion dollar movie. Mm-hmm. I do think it would a billion dollar movie. It'll make the same amount of money yeah. four years later, right? So inflation will help. Yeah, it didn't yeah. make the same amount. Yeah. In a perfect scenario, it makes more. Uh, but you know, we did have 
what we coming off of we was coming off of covid and everything like that so you know i, you I know, will adjust for that you know may 2022 was its date and mm-hmm. if chadwick was still alive they'd have kept the may date they wouldn't have right. gone mm-hmm. over to november mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they wouldn't have had the thing where Letitia wright gets an injury on a motorcycle right. accident also that in this alternate world they would have made that money yes they would may is may is a very profitable month it's not february yo putting the first movie in february is such a sneaky oh no 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 we're celebrating black history month guys we're celebrating but, and but... <laughs> i was gonna say that i th- i think putting it in february was the smart move to do it's black panther black history month yeah i think it's the smart yeah, thing if you do. know it's gonna be a phenomenon but if you didn't there's things happening this February right now under the guise of Black History Month, but you guys are just like, yeah, let's get out, let's get out of the way, man. We're not gonna allow this to take a, a May date, a April, a June, July date. Um, true, but I think now because I'm, you know, I'm coming from the show I just did, and I just talked about like DEI and them pulling back and what Issa Rae said. Now they're pulling back from promoting Black and minority shows. May of 2022 or 20 doing the year of 2022 they would have been all in on marketing and pushing the show so i think it would have worked for february perhaps worst of all ray says she witnessed hollywood backsliding on pledges to increase representation and diversity yep. i've never seen hollywood this scared and clueless and at the mercy of wall street she says you, Look, you have overcorrection from wokeness you have you know what i'm saying overcorrection from Everything needs to be LGBTQIA+. So now to correct that, they're going to overcorrect the opposite way and pull back. You know what I'm saying? So when you do that, we always, as black people, we always get caught up in the ass end of that. You know what I'm saying? Always. We always get caught up in the wash. And that's just, just the way it is. If I'm looking at Marvel, if that means I don't get Falcon as Captain America, cool but if that means i'm not getting blade oh uh, you idiots why did falcon get forwarded but mm. not but like blade didn't or why did wonder man who is simon williams who's a white guy but it's going to be i Abdul mateen right or as dre likes to call them yama dabadu mateen <laughs> yeah but that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a do team. Yeah, yeah, I'm a do a team playing another white guy who's gonna go right back to white. It really stinks that there's a loss coming, and it's like at the time where we were getting the black character who's actually black and stays black when in Blade, like the melanated character who stays melanated. I don't like saying black anymore. To think about, I think it's a lot of scenarios to think about. You know, back to the question of um, if he was alive, would it have made the the money or, or whatever? I, I I think it would. It's the it was the highest grossing solo superhero film of all time, and I think that needs to be said more all, of all time. Superman didn't do that. Batman didn't do that. Spider Man didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? As solo, and they're not gonna do that. We would have saw Spider Man do it. We would have saw, saw Batman. Robert do it. Pattinson. Right. That's what I'm saying. We would have saw Batman do it. We didn't see it. We didn't see it happen. So Superman his Legacy is not gonna do it either. Or what well, Deadpool three is not gonna do. Well, Deadpool's is kind of a team up, but it's not right. gonna do it. Of course not. Deadpool, the last two movies, are they're still struggling. Like, I don't think either one of them hit a billion dollars. We were giving out, like, picks for who would be a good T'Challa recast and who would you like, Blue? But now I like Damson <laughs> Idris. I like uh, Aldous Hodge. Um, and I wouldn't mind them just finding, like, a, a just a nobody. The budget gets eaten up so much by these actors that they can't go on to be profitable because, shit, you just spent 250 million 300 million you know what i'm saying on a movie that didn't have to have that budget it's something that we always have to talk about it's called to child neglect that's what we're here for for the third mm-hmm. week how did you feel initially right when the kid showed up on screen you know his name's toussaint but here we call him t'challa your opinion i, I, well, I felt disrespected knowing about the character of who t'challa is he's not hiding a child it okay you are right. hiding a child. Let that boy yeah. come home. Let's use their movie against them because basically you can do that with this the child, right? The yeah. whole first movie was about hiding a child of Wakanda 
away from Wakanda. Deadbeat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The whole first movie was about that. Then you come to the second movie and basically say, ah, nah, it's cool. It's not cool. Not only that, he would not be recognized as an heir to the throne because he's a bastard. He wouldn't be recognized as heir to the throne. That just don't happen in when it comes to kingdoms. That, that the person born out, outside of wedlock does not get the throne. First born, second born, third born, it don't matter. You don't see the throne. So I don't know where this notion of, oh, let's call him T'Challa and, and he's going to be. No, he's not. For one thing, he ain't even Wakandan. He's no. Haitian. Now that I think about it, when Killmonger showed up to try to take the throne, he shouldn't even really be able to take the throne. Nigga, you not Wakandan? You grew up in Oakland. I don't want to hit, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? No, he had the thing. Yeah, he had the thing, the lip. He did. Show me your lip. Show us. So now to child, show me your lip. Let me see your lip. <laughs> yeah. Let me see your lip. You ain't got that? At least, at least Killmonger had the ring and the and the and the lip tattoo, right? Tucson ain't got that. No lip. Zip. <laughs> so yeah, I felt I felt disrespect. Now you just freestyling, and that's all that was a freestyle. You didn't. So you mean to tell me you didn't want to do a proper recast, but you wanted to recast with two songs? This ain't even a recast. This is a different character. That now you got to spend time into developing. He got to grow up. He got to do all this shit. We just want Black Panther on screen, man. Mm -hmm. Think about how it comes at the expense of Shuri. Shuri is a character. You know, the, the uplifting of Shuri was the plot of this film. And we're supposed to just, right. oh, we'll do it with another one now? How, what a waste of your own resources. Like, they're really yeah. so stupid. That's how badly they don't want someone to catch on. Well, oh, this one's getting too hot. Shuri out of the way. Here's the sister. Here's her nephew. Yeah, her right nephew is important. Rather than having a competitor on the same level of Batman and of the Hulk and of Spidey, mm -hmm. they would go, mm mm mm. New one every time. Yeah, this is this franchise is about a mantle. Everybody never fall in love with a single character. Yeah, all they did was dest destroy their own franchise. He was and... trained by the CIA. This is real life. This is how it happens. This is how invasions happen. They're <laughs> long term, and yes, that's the CIA <laughs> operative. I saw some talks about a Black Panther three. I'm like, we're not getting a Black Panther three. Coogler has gone off to do vampire movies with with Killmonger. Only way I can see that IP being resurrected is you gotta reboot the MCU. That is it. Bro, when you think about the Cooler and, and Michael B are going to do vampire movies, then you're not doing a Black Panther. It's been two years since the last one. We kind of know Marvel's slate for 2025 and 2026. What's happening in 2027? I don't know, but Coogler's busy with his vampire movie. Right. This movie's not coming. This Black Panther 3 stuff. I, I don't no. believe it. He might, what they say, he was going to produce um, Eyes of Wakanda. Yeah, the television show. Mm -hmm. the show or whatever. Oh, I don't Midnight's even know. Angels. I doubt that makes did because did they did they do an official? They haven't officially announced it. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that's coming. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Hey, we're out of here. Me, K dot. You know what guys? It's K dot S S J K dot. Subscribe to K dot. Uh go look. Don't play Pokemon, play Pal World is better. And DC <laughs> is better. The other day. <laughs> We have the Nerdy Brew. I promise you he has a face and he's got a YouTube channel. Go check him out. <laughs> Thank you, Chill. We got <laughs> Blue Minotti, Blue's House, live streams. He just finished one. Go check him out. And I'm Chill. And that kid is not T'Challa. Bye. We cast a child doubling down on black death is a trope we no longer want to handle. What kind of forever to child forever has never been about the mantle. Doubling down on black death is a trope we no longer want to handle. What kind of forever to child forever has never been about the never been about the down on black death is a trope we no longer want to handle. What kind of forever to child forever has never been about the mantle. What is we saying? We will not. We cast the character. We cast the child. When Chad passed, it was a real conversation we had with Googler, and it was a fast conversation. It wasn't weeks, it was minutes of, we have to figure out how to move this franchise on without that character.